Hey guys and welcome back to another video. My name is Safe and in this video I'm going to show you step by step how to use Zoho campaigns. So let's get started. First you need to create your own account. Here I will just sign in and I will use Google. almost there and here we are so this is how Zoho campaigns look like here you have on the left a left navigation panel which contains dashboard campaigns contacts automation e-commerce library and reports in this tutorial we are going to do the same sequence which is written here in the get started with campaigns so we are basically going to add contacts then we will create a campaign then we will automate our workflow so let's first go to contacts to create our first contacts from here now let's press on manage lists then let's press on create list here it will ask you about the name let's name it tutorial or for example new subscribers and press save now it will, it will give you four options to import your own contacts you can do it manually or you can import from any source uh, on your device or you can synchronize your contacts or sign up for so here I will go with add manually and I will choose to add new here and I'll choose multiple contacts now I will add this contact I can also add the subscription type here I will just say marketing and I will go to add Okay, I need to um, check on this and press on add and done. So your first contact list is added successfully. Now let's go to campaigns to create our first one. Here I will use email campaigns. I will press on create campaign. Here it gives you multiple options to create your own campaign. For the sake of this tutorial, I am going to use regular email and I'll press create new here. Then I will name the campaign as tutorial, for example, save and proceed. And here it will ask me to add a subject. So let's say tutorial. Now it will ask me to add a sender. I will use my account here. Then it will ask you to add a recipient. So I will add my list that I created before. I will choose lists from here. And I will choose the new subscribers list. And I will add also the sample list. Then I will press on save. Now, the only thing left is to add a content. So let's press on create content here. Here it will give you uh, options whether to add pre-designed templates in case you bought a template for, from somewhere or you, or you designed it uh, before. And here you can just uh, create a new template. Here you can use coding. Here you can import and more. So let's just go with basic templates here. And let's choose one of these um, forms. So let's pick something simple like this one and press on select template. And here is how our, how our template look like. So basically this uh, editing on this template is so easy. You can just drag and drop anything you want. So if you are interested in adding text, for example, you can just click on text here and it will open multiple options for you so if you like this one you can drag it and drop it wherever you want here so i'll just undo this so this is basically how it's done and how you can add any elements you can also add complete layouts which are 
uh, maybe an image and a bunch of uh, text boxes. It may be a group of elements together so you can add it the same way. You can just drag and drop. And finally here in the design, I will just undo. Here in the design, you can control the design of the whole template from here. So if, if you want to change the border color, for example, the template width and, and more. So let's now proceed to edit on this template. I want to create my own logo, so I will press on this and I will press on change from here. I will upload an image from computer. One second, I will choose an image. Okay, I found my image here. Now it's loading and here we are. So I will use this image. I will just scale it so that it will be smaller. So let's go to image size and choose small. And let's make the alignment in the middle. Okay, this is great. And here I don't need this one. So I'll press on this setting icon and I will delete it. I can also... Um, add an image instead of deleting it. So let's just delete it. it. It doesn't make sense for me. Delete. And here you can uh, edit the text by clicking on it and you can edit anything you want. So you can also edit the properties from here and from here. So basically this is the te text formatting and here this is the text properties related to spacing, background color and more. So uh, I will just leave this text as it is. And in this button, you can also change its settings. You can add the URL, for example, to your uh, website. So whenever the user click on it, he will be redirected to this URL. And you can also um, click on those, this social media accounts and add your own accounts here. Finally, you can add an image by just clicking on this choose to change and upload the same way as we did before in the logo. So this is basically how you can uh, edit on your uh, content for your own email. And once you are done, you can preview and test or you can just proceed from here. And now after you are done editing your own content, you can um, send it immediately or you can send it later. You can, if you want to, to send it later, you can decide the time that you want to send it. And regarding send it immediately, you can send it right now, right away, or you can send it in batches. So um, after uh, reviewing all these data, you can review and launch here. And you can review before it's sent to contacts or just pressing on not now. And, oh, sorry, sorry. You can just press on review and launch here to send it. And everything is good. And done. So basically your campaign will be sent out once it is reviewed and approved by the team, by Zoho's team. And here it shows you a warning in case you want to edit it, which is that there is default image found, which is this image below as we did not add um, any image to this one. However, it's important because it, there is no point adding it as I showed you how to do the, how to do so. So you, if you want to add the image, you can do so. If you want to just delete it, you can also do this. So now let's go to automation and see how it's performed. By going to automation, you are assigning uh, your Zoho to do a sequence of steps that can be automatically uh, triggered once a specific action occurs. So for example, if you want to create an automation, you can press on create my first workflow here and you will find uh, some templates. However, however, if you want to navigate through these uh, tabs you will find more templates and even if you want to go to save templates you can go there and if you want to custom your workflow from scratch you can go here 
So uh, I think this one looks pretty nice. So if you want to use it, we can use template here. And here you can see the steps and you can edit on them. So basically whether um, a user or a contact is added uh, from form or on list entry, both of them will be re redirected to the next step, which is waiting for a day. You can also change this uh, period by clicking on these three dots and on edit here. And you can edit the wait time from here. So um, next step is to send a message here. So if you want to edit this message, you can also um, click on here and you can add notes, you can uh, clone, you can edit the response from here. So um, you can edit the response, whether it's delivered, opened, uh, skipped or more. And once you are done, okay, let's just pick the first one. So once you are done here, you can also edit the message itself. However, it cannot be added because you did not set a trigger. So by going here first and select a form, for example, any sign up form, save. So you have uh, decided your trigger. Now you can go here and edit your message. Okay, I think we shall also decide this trigger as well. So let's go to select list and Existing a new contact, now press on save. And we will choose the new subscribers list and press on save. And here you have updated your trigger. Now you can go and edit this message by just clicking. So now you can add a subject, you can add the sender, you can add your content from here. The same way that we did before when we created our campaign. So here we can use pre-designed pre -designed templates, for example, and you can use uh, the, camp the campaign that you used before. However, you will not find it because uh, you did not, uh, it, it was not approved yet. So you can just uh, choose uh, a template or you can choose a previous campaign that you have created from content here. And after you are done, you can just go to take me to Canva And here you can set up the next step. So after creating your message here, um, there will be three days waiting. You can also edit this waiting time. Then another message will be sent. Then another waiting, then another message. Then finally, the field will be updated where your subscribers will be completely onboarded. And this is how you can control your own automation. And since you are delegating as Zoho campaigns to do these sequence of steps once a specific trigger happens, which is these two triggers, uh, w whether your contacts are added on form submission or on list entry. So that's how easy you can Zoho campaigns. This brings us to the end of our tutorial today. If you liked this video, press on like, then subscribe to our channel for more valuable tutorials. Thank you so much for watching and see you in, some, in the next videos. Until then, take care and goodbye.